Hello and welcome to a little tutorial. This is Jim Adesim, Total Notary Channel and we're going to look at how to increase your virtual memory for your PC. Virtual memory is basically a little memory file that uh, works as random access memory RAM if your RAM is not enough. Uh, this is usually set uh, by the system itself and you don't need to bother but if you want a larger one or if you somehow want to make sure that you always have space available for the swap file uh, you should do this. It's a paging file it's called. So let's bring up control panel you'll just click the Windows button and X and then we have control panel here you can also search it and then we go to uh, system and from system you can click advanced system settings uh, on the advanced si system settings we can click on uh, we have you know computer name we have hardware we have advanced system protection remote uh, we're gonna go to advanced then we're gonna go to performance and on performance so we go to advanced uh, this is by the way where you can turn off some fancy animations to increase your performance if you'd like to but anyways if you're in a really shit battle station anyhow uh, make sure this program is checked and then we click change so here we have at automatically manage, manage paging size uh, paging file size just uncheck that and we'll select um, custom size and then we of course have um, the base of um, 1024 So we'll just bring up our calculator here and uh, so this is one gig this is one gig in megabytes um, and uh, since I have eight gigs of RAM I will want to make it the double size uh, so I'm going to select 16 and then I'm sure I'm having enough uh, RAM memory then we can write it in here just 16 384 like that paste it in there initial size maximum size so it will also always be the same size basically and then we click set we click OK and we need to restart the computer in order to this uh, changes to take effect all right there we go um, if we would like to check our um, how much uh, of this uh, memory we have we'll just click the Windows key write in MS info here we have the system information and well here I can see how much RAM I have uh, available memory and total virtual memory now I need to restart this to it actually showing up uh, the correct value here but that's how you do it in any case, I hope this has been helpful for you and um, if you liked the video, leave a like and then I'll see you in future videos. This is Jim and Total Nourish Channel signing out.